Hey everybody. Here's a Dell Dimension B110 desktop computer for service and um, I just got finished with it. And let me talk to you about these computers a little bit. Um, the reason why this computer was brought in for service was because it was getting extremely slow. And it hadn't been too awful long since I had reinstalled Windows on this computer. Back then it didn't seem too awful bad, but um, here recently things were getting extremely slow with it. And um, so first thing I did was I added a little bit extra RAM to it. It had 512 megs of RAM, which is a decent amount for Windows XP. Though I went and added an additional um, 256 megs of RAM to total 768, minus a little bit used by on more graphics. But um, even after that, this computer was still extremely slow at loading things. I mean, after after you let it sit for about five minutes to get everything loaded, it would run just fine. But when you were starting Windows, it would take forever to even start Windows. I mean, you would see the Windows XP splash screen and the um, the animation of the little bar going by. It reminded me of Windows Vista. It took so long to load. And um, even after getting things loaded up, it still took forever to load simple things like Control Panel or Windows Task Manager. I mean, the hard drive let it deal with this run wide open. And I checked in Task Manager, CPU usage was low and memory usage was low. But that hard drive LED was a wide open, like the hard drive was just running itself wide open loading everything. So come to find out the hard, the stock hard drive in this thing is just extremely slow. So what I did was, um, recently I found a, um, old DVR system at the thrift store. It was an old DirecTV DVR manufactured by Hughes. And it had a, um, just happened to have a Western Digital WD-880 gig hard drive in it, and I found these West, older Western Digital hard drives to be decent little performers, even in um, if you was wanting to build a cheap Windows Vista or Windows 7 computer out of older parts, these hard drives work really well. I mean, they score like a 5.4 Windows Experience Index, which is actually on par with some of the um, earlier SATA hard drives. Anyways, um, this computer, the stock hard drive as you can see it's in there but not plugged up is a Samsung spin point hard drive I never knew that these hard drives were a bit slow and may just be its configuration I'm not quite sure I have found out that for some reason in some of my experiences these Intel manufacturer motherboards and let's say some Hitachi hard drives or let's say the Samsung spin point hard drive it just seemed like a real slow configuration we have to use one of those Western Digital hard drives like this one the computer would be snappy. And that was the case with this computer. Originally it took forever to start Windows XP. And like I was telling you, it would take forever to load things like Task Manager. And let's go ahead and load Task Manager just for the heck of it. Pulls it right up, no problem. And let's say by now the on the old hard drive it would just now pull it up. Just to give you the, to give you a comparison. But um anyways this thing has um the speed has increased dramatically. And there's another thing I'm going to talk to you about, about um, these Dell computers, even newer ones. A cool little feature that I wish many other computers, especially um, retail motherboards for custom build machines, would have. Let's go ahead and restart this thing. Seems to run pretty fast now. And like I say, this isn't quite a clean install. It has plenty of programs and stuff on it, so it does have a pretty good bit of... Um, stuff to shut down and load. Plenty of services and um, plenty of like programs such as like HP printer programs, that kind of stuff has to load. Let's go into the BIOS on this thing. Let's say if you have an older Dell like this one, for example, and you see that it has a BIOS like this. Newer Dells um, have like a um, selection menu over here and more options on the right hand side these older Dells have like this it's a grayish looking screen newer Dells have the bluish looking screen on this machine you'll scroll down to um, IDE hard drive acoustics mode and you have some options here you have performance bypass quiet suggested by default, it's usually um, set to bypass, so it uses the stock hard drive acoustic management system. 
you set it to performance, it tells the hard drive to run wide open. Or it sets the hard drive's AAM, all my acoustic management, to, um, to, to the performance setting. So your hard drive will be noticeably louder when it's seeking for files, but at the same time, it's running faster and it's actually able to um, load things faster and you'll notice it actually. So that's another thing I recommend if you have a Dell machine. Even a newer one. Like I said, the newer ones had this option too. And of course, um, if you absolutely want your hard drive to be quiet, you can set it to quiet but you'll have a performance impact. Not that much, but you will notice an impact in um, probably like your startup performance, um, loading files, that kind of stuff. I'm going to set this back for performance and exit the BIOS. And just to give you an idea, this thing has a um, Celeron D processor, 2.53 gig CPU. So anyways, um, any questions or comments, feel free to ask.